Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. What is up, everybody? Happy Friday to you. Hopefully you guys are having a great Friday morning this far or afternoon, just depending on where you guys are. Uh, Shank, thanks for the host, man. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah, welcome in, guys. We are uh, back. It has been... We haven't streamed all week. So last stream was Sunday, and that was even kind of a shorter one. So uh, good to be back this morning. I am uh, refreshed somewhat from a good night's rest. And uh, yeah, it's been a long week. So... Uh, what is new with 5.7? That is exactly what we're going to get into today. Um, I really, I should probably keep the patch, the patcher up on the side so I can answer that question um, and, and go through and maybe just have some talking points. Uh, I, I haven't, like obviously there's a lot of things that you can see for yourself out there. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I didn't make a cheat sheet because there's just so much, man. There's so much to talk about. Um, I have a feeling that a lot of people are just going to come in and talk about certain aspects, which will thus spark conversation regarding what's new. So we will get into that. Uh, in the meantime, let's just hop in the game. So first things first, the biggest thing that's changed, one of the biggest things in my opinion, is the skill tree has went from, and actually let's, this music seems okay for now. Uh, turn down a little bit. Um, one thing that has changed is the the time in which you gain skill. So it used to be 10 skill points per 10 seconds. So basically equivalent to one, 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 one and one. So one second was one skill point. Now it's knocked down to three skill points every 10 seconds. So 70% less, uh, which is pretty drastic. Read me them patch notes in that sexy voice of yours. Yeah, see I did that one time for LOA and it was the most boring thing I think I could have possibly ever done. <laughs> it was like, all right, cool. We can read too. Uh, I'll be home in ten minutes. Catching in, in Discord. Uh, I'll be around. Yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll figure out if if Discord is the place to hang out. Um, okay, so my setup on this account is going to be on my primary track, my exploration. Uh, I'm trying to get to survival proficiency. Uh, I think is that. Wait, I just looked at that. What do I need? I think it's survival. Yeah, survival proficiency. Okay. So that's where we want to go. We just want to basically take four pips all the way to there so we can get five pips to unlock um, our harvesting. Um, I don't know what else is worthwhile. Um, this guy's going to be a skinner, so I'm not really worried about some of the other aspects of things. That's what I've got another account for. Um they didn't actually decrease any of the skill it takes to um, learn these things, so they just slowed the they slowed they lowered the, the time and how you gain them. So, anyways, all right. As far as combat, so here's something that you know probably towards the end of five six, a lot of you guys were kind of like me. You were just kind of throwing skill points wherever, uh, which is okay, but now it's it's really kind of you need to focus on what you want to do, um, especially now that you have less time. It's going to take you more time to get to where you want to be. So really try to put an emphasis on what you want to do in your skill tree. If you don't know what you're doing, I would suggest asking or at the very least, just try to research every you know node you can. So this one is just always a good one to have five in, in my opinion. Um, now, we, we could go four. We may go four for now just to unlock some of the later things. But, you know, you look at... Uh, attack power, health maximum. Hey, fights. Thanks for the host, man. Appreciate you, buddy. Um, as far as the health goes and the crit hit chance defense, that that's important, and we may come back to that and get that last pip down the road. Uh, but for now, we're going to try to just move on. Um, so most of the time, in 5.6, what I did is I went, I went into armor right away. So uh, I still think I'm going to do the same thing. I feel like defense is probably valued a little more. Uh, early on especially than offense so what I'll actually do I think we need 75% if I'm not mistaken yeah 75% of the combat basic tree I think we're going to try to focus more on offensive in the combat basic section and then we'll go more defensive um, down the road when we get into you know the armor and such all right so we're going to increase crit hit damage and we're going to go four pips for, and everything for now guys um just to keep you guys in the loop with what I'm doing. You can do this however you want. Uh, what's up, Fineo? How's it going? Good morning. So this is just kind of how I choose to do it. There's no right or wrong. Um, 
it's really just boils down to how you want to build your character. Um, so these are always a bit confusing, a bit tricky for people to deal with. You've got attack control intensity, you have hard control intensity, and you have movement control intensity. So what those do, for those of you who don't know, this will increase the, the duration of blind, cooldown, debuff, and suppress effects. So I don't really... I do have that, but it's a, I have a stuns. So I want to focus more on stuns because I'm running a champion build. So I'm going to go into stuns. Again, try to know what you're putting points into and don't just blindly put points into something because um, they're valuable. Time is valuable. All right. So Mankind Tree, this is to go through to Half Giant, which is what I've been running um, for my main combat stuff. So we'll go four into this. Oh wow, I didn't realize it was so much. How much is that first pip worth? 5,040, okay. So see, that's that's pretty much, I started my combat or my training as soon as 5.7 went live. Uh, and you can see that I, I that's yesterday at, you know, I don't know what time exactly, I can't remember. But uh, skill points are slow go. So just be aware of that. All right, see, I'm not even getting four pips to move on in, in these racing class trees. All right, so let's uh, let's back out. I'm actually going to go to my other account real quick um, and do that. All right. All right, so we're crafting basics and exploration basics. So what we're doing on this account, this is going to be our crafter, right? Uh, we're going to be going into blacksmithing, so we need to get five pips in the blacksmithing basics, uh, which is here. So we're going to take this path right here. That's how we're going to get there ASAP. And we're just doing four pips again, just to try to get there as quickly as possible. We won't get there um, this morning, because I'm not really going to touch skills after that. I get done doing this. Exploration basics, we need to go into, I believe it is gathering proficiency in order to unlock uh, excavation it is because we're going into ore specialization all right so literally we're just going straight across let me verify yes that's correct and we'll come back and catch some of these um don't think that I'm just trying to like get their ASAP. I kind of am, but I need to get some of these other things like uh, plentiful reese. Well, I don't really need cutting grit on any anybody. It's nice to have, but we'll see. All right, let's go ahead and get my points in here. You can see it's pretty much the same mankind and monster. And then fighter and rogue. I don't really do much. I don't play much of the other classes, like the uh, the divine classes. All right, so we're done with all that. Let's uh, let's get back in. Let's get back in. Let's figure out what's going on. I know they were running like a little test server yesterday. Let's see if they've made one an official. No, it's still the load test. Okay, this is on live. So just because it says test doesn't mean we're not on live. So guys, again, welcome and good morning. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Uh, Caden. You can eat now, buddy. What? You can eat now. Typically, he would be at daycare, but uh, today, or this week, and then next week, he's uh, he starts school next Friday. So a week from today, he starts his new school. So he's been out of daycare. Um, thank you, buddy. There's a banana. There's some milk. We can have that when you're done with the banana. So he's, uh, he's home with me today. My wife is working. She's getting ready to go back to school as well as she is a professor. Um, all right, so the biggest thing people are going to notice, and let me unlock. Hopefully my game doesn't crash. Okay. Uh, biggest thing people are going to notice is yeah, FPS. Daddy, right away. I don't know, buddy. She'll be back later. She'll be back after I eat. Yep, after you eat. So, okay. Starting out, guys. Um, some of you may know the drill, some of you may not, but basically we have got to get our basic stuff in every, uh, beachhead. We have these general crafting stations where you can craft your armor. It's in the statue room down towards the gate. Um, so we want to look at, 
Let's see, leatherworking. Intermediate armor. We're gonna have to get some leather sheets and some ore. I forgot what, what, what leather sheets? What makes leather sheets? Uh, six hide per leather sheet. So we need six, 12, 18, 24 leather is what we need. Uh, yes, Bikito, that's correct. I am still chaos. Um, I don't, honestly, I don't recall. I think they still have boars in beachhead, but I'm not 100% sure. I, I never did check that on test because I didn't have to farm anything. I'm pretty sure that's a thing, so let's run over here real quick. Let's say good morning to uh, everyone. Alright, so this is where the boar spawned in the past. I'm assuming, yeah, they're still, I figured they would be. What do they call them? Pack pig R2? What the heck? I don't have any disciplines yet either, so. Uh, I tell you what, I really don't have that much. Here, let's do this. Let's actually, let's pause this music because there are some things that changed with audio. I want you guys to hear. So we're going to turn up all of our audio cues. Um, there's some music and stuff like that. So I'm not really going to focus on any of my disciplines yet. Not enough rage. I need imminently punchable. Hey, Angela with the host. Thank you so much. Holy crap, that was a little bit of a lag. I forgot what it was like to start again. And how how bad your stuff is. Oh cool, they drop ethereal dust now. That's nice. I didn't know that. You home now? Nice, Paquito. Alright, let's put that skinning to work here. I'm surprised I'm already getting meat. I guess it's because I'm in crafting basics already. Wasn't able to start my skills last night before work. Update took too long. Oh, that stinks, man. Sorry to hear that. All right, so we need 24 total um, leather, I believe is what we said. Let me make some a bandage real quick, which actually, this is something that I like. They've actually changed the way bandages look. So before they kind of looked like a potion. Now they legit look like a bandage. So when we hover over this, you guys can see it legit looks like a bandage now. So that's <laughs> that's a good a good sign, a good start. Um, all right, let's go back to this. Let's keep. Uh, oh, he ran away from me, that jerk. So I am going to show some of the stuff that five seven has. Don't worry, I'm going to make some armor first. It shouldn't take me long to make my armor, uh, assuming I have enough ethereal dust. Um, and then from there, we will go roam out in the, the real world, kind of show you guys everything. So they have made it a little different now. They have essentially four zones is what they have between uh, the three beachheads for all of the factions. And then they have the one map, the one main map that uh, is what is where you're going to encounter, you know, the other faction. Um, other factions can't come to your beachhead that I'm aware of, unless they've decided to cause some sort of pandemonium. Um, so that's something to be aware of. And we'll kind of, we'll, we'll go over that stuff as we get out and about. What is that? Oh, they changed how Chaos Embers look. That's pretty cool. So yeah, a lot of graphical stuff. As you guys can see, there's just a lot of changes to, uh, especially stuff in your bag. So just keep that in mind. It's, it's a lot, it's a lot cleaner looking in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, there you go. I don't ever use, like, any of these abilities normally. I use my three ability. 
and my five ability and my shift one, but the other couple I don't really. I don't really use whirlwind ever. I don't think it's called whirlwind. I think it's called something else, but it's the same thing. Same concept. Everybody knows what whirlwind is. So, Bikido, you've got uh, a work picnic. Is that what you said later? Is that what I, I read? All right, so that puts us to 14, so we got 10 more. Our work does a cookout lunch thing. Ah, cool. Taking the family, I'm assuming? That'd be good. We do that... Uh, we don't do it for the families typically, but we because we do it in the middle of the work day. But we do um, a lunch at Memorial Day and Labor Day. Where we, we work half a day and then we come in, we bring the guys in, and then we, uh, we feed them and then send them home with the rest that they paid. Just kind of a kind of a way to it's it's kind of our sign of start of summer and then end of summer. Third just does it at the end of the day. Gotcha. You guys are also gonna hear some changes with some audio stuff. That's why I wanted to turn off the music because there are some some differences and everything. Um, so just things to be aware of when you fire the game up. It's going to look, it's going to feel, it's going to sound completely different. Um, which in my opinion is not a bad thing. I think there were some things that were a little rough around the edges. Whirling pain is what this is called. There were some things that were rough around the edges that I feel like needed some TLC. I think we got them uh, in, in some capacity on a lot of those things. So overall, it was a good a good patch to kind of change some of the feel for the, the things that just weren't really, it didn't feel polished. I think it's probably the best way to say it. I think that we're using a lot of placeholder art too that wasn't really indicative of, of what was gonna be long-term. For example, the bandages. Speaking of bandage, let's bandage real quick. All right, I should need one more bore and I should have the leather I need. At that point, I think I'll need to get some ore, which is good because I, I need to I need to start thinking about disciplines before I go out and uh, get into the real world. I actually need to go out and farm some non-basic ore for an intermediate weapon as well. So I've got some things I need to do to equip myself accordingly. Looks like all the boars are dropping one ethereal dust, which is nice because before they weren't dropping any. It was kind of like, well, I'm a skinner, but I can't get ethereal dust. Guys, if you're you're in and out this morning, don't be afraid. Uh, you'll always have the VOD to go back and check out after the fact. We also will upload the, uh, the stream to YouTube as well. So if that's something that you guys are interested in, maybe you've got to go here in a little bit. Uh, just check it out later. It'll be around. And uh, again, thanks for being here this morning. If you guys have any questions or want to chat about some of the changes in 5.7, just let me know and, and I'll be more than happy to uh, to talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. Because that's what we do. <clears throat> Alright, I know I'm going to need some ore. So, let's go ahead and mine some. I don't think I mined any slag yesterday for the five minutes I got to play. Hmm. Really, I think I was just chopping trees, trying to get all my tools made. That was about the only thing I was able to do yesterday that I had time for. How many people are on this morning?
typically takes it a second to ping it with these new chat features. Is it in the... There we go. There's a lot of people on, actually. I, I'm still looking for a button that can make our mouse appear. It actually shows everybody the two, which is good. It's 53 members on this morning. Caden. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Sorry, I'm yelling at my wife. It's probably not good. I have a push to mute for a reason. I just didn't use it. Sorry about that. Sorry, ears. If I blew your eardrums, my bad. I don't know how much ore I need for this stuff. So we're just going to mine a good chunk because I need disciplines anyways. The durability bar under tools has always been there. Um, no, I don't believe it has. I think that's new. Unless I'm just completely oblivious and didn't notice it before. There's a good chance that that's possible. But no, I, I don't think that was, that was there before. Yeah, I am as well. It's nice to know when your stuff's about to break, for sure. All right. Let's make this. We're going to make our leather sheets. Get our durability. I think we need four total. Yeah. Oops. No. I don't remember experimentation being there for durability before. Maybe I'm wrong. All right. Uno mas. I like, too, how they've made it to where the sheets don't take up two inventory slots, just one. Just little things like that. That, uh... Didn't make sense why leather sheets took up too, but that's okay. And they've definitely lowered the cost of like crafting stuff. So, oh, these take 30 seconds to craft. It's a decent amount of time for intermediate gear. <clears throat> Extremely cumbersome. So, these are not your fleet of foot boots here here comes the scavenger himself my doggy what are you doing buddy you can see his tail Whee. you want to come say hi while we're waiting while we're crafting all right there's boots let's make the chest piece hang on let's say let me get this one started buddy we need ore and oh ethereal dust all right come here come say hi come on there you go that's a good boy that's a good boy Say hi to the stream. Say hi. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't realize he's looking right into the camera. That's a good boy. Yeah, he's a good boy. Come up here to see your brother give you some banana. Yeah, he's got some banana for you. I know. All right, come on. Okay. And last but not least, let's make these gloves. Oh, we got the flawed assembly on that. We did everything else well with that one. <coughs> did that not give me... Boots gave me health, but the chest piece... I guess chest piece just gives me the resistances, not the health. We'll get health from our gloves as well. All right. So the next thing we've got to do, which requires us to actually go get some non-basic resource. Um, we need, I think I need one billet. Yes. One metal billet to make an intermediate axe. So we're going to go out and try to find that. That's what we're going to do. Look, it's daylight outside now. All right. So we're going to follow the little purple ribbon in the air that is the rune gate to take us out into the real world the real world uh to take us into the main world i should say to where we can um fight with others 
You know what we ought to do first before we do anything? Uh, we ought to make our disciplines. That's probably a better idea before we do anything. So let's farm up. Let's see. I need two more slots. Or yeah, two more. Hey, there's Bikido. Hi, Bikido. You got your race car going this morning, huh? AKA your elk and zoom. All right, let's do. Mm hmm. <clears throat> There's an interacting button now in place. Yeah, you can actually trade and interact instead of having to. Uh... What you call it? Um, I don't even know the word. I have to type. There we go. Sorry, train of thought was lost there for a second. So let's get. Uh, we're gonna do destroyer. That's a champion specific Pacific. The champion specific trait or discipline rather. Um, let's also do. And eh, we'll come back to that. I will cross that bridge in just a second. Okay, minor discipline. I know we want sturdy. I think we want eminently punchable. Can you give that banana to Ty and then give him his fig fig bar? Uh, it's right here. All right, let's see. I'm going to do sturdy, I think is a good one. Hey, mommy. Um. All right, last thing we're going to do. Emily Punchable, Sturdy, and Expansive Mind. I think we're set. Give me one more skill slot. I think we're good there. That's weird how they... It kind of like hangs below. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if that's a art error or what, but that doesn't look good to me. All right, um, the last major discipline I think we're going to do is, should we do Juggernaut? Grants the Furious Retaliate, Unstoppable and Toughness Abilities, and the Spike Passive when equipped. All right, I'm leaving. Bye. Bye. Um... I kind of like this too. I use that a lot in five seven or five six. Maybe something more offensive. I don't know. I feel like destroyer should be. Let's actually see what we've got here. Let's check our skills first. Um, all right. So I don't really care for this. Don't really care for this either. I like my stun. It's actually not my stun. My stun's this one. What am I thinking? There we go. Uh, I like this one as well. These two actually need to be switched. Oops. Real bad. It needs to be on four. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Set my passives as well. Because I always forget. Aegis of Salvation. That's a little hill. That's nice to have. <clears throat> Here's some of that music. You guys can hear it. All right. I think we want to go with maybe... I'm trying to figure out. Does this use... Does use a resource? I'm not used to using um, Destroyer, so I'm kind of thinking about some other stuff. All right, let's let's make one more. I think we're just gonna go with something that's that I know is is proven. Um, I think we're gonna go with Rune Scarred Gladiator for now, and then we can we can adjust that and tweak it as we see fit. All right. <clears throat>
thought I got a passive with that. I guess not. Nope. It's another defensive, and then we'll uh, we'll actually do. I think we're gonna do demolish armor. Yeah, I think that's good right there. And then our last passive will probably be relentless. Okay. All right, so now we're set. We're good. And um, you know what we ought to do before we leave? Let's actually run through the campfire and make this food real quick that we've got in our bag. Uh, that would be a good idea because hunger is going to start to set in and probably a couple more ticks on the chicken ticker. Let's do that real quick. One thing I am I am incredibly anxious for are mounts. That's something that I am ready for. Give me some mounts. I'm sure that's a whole nother system that they have to build. So yeah, you guys can hear some of the ambient music. I wish it was like more consistent though. Sometimes it goes quiet for a long time and you don't hear it. I wish it was, was more than that, but oh well. What do you do? We'll go ahead and bank some of this gold I've got too. Not that I've got much, maybe a hundred or so, but hey man, hundred gold starting out. You know. It's worth something. Come on. Give me a break. I don't really care about anything else. All right, let's go make this food. The only other thing I could see us needing is maybe making some, making some bandages as well before we leave. That may be something worth doing. Guys, again, good morning. If you're new around here, thank you so much for hanging out this morning. Uh, hopefully, you guys are enjoying yourself. If there's anything I can show you or any question I can answer for you, Please don't hesitate to ask. That's what this stream is about. I want this to be a, a pleasant experience for you. And uh, yeah, if you enjoy yourself, don't be bashful. Click that follow button and uh, help support the stream. Hmm. I'm still, I don't know. I haven't really looked into the, the whole meat thing and how it works with your chicken tender. Your chicken tender, your chicken ticker. Um, is it just kind of like on the flawed assembly meat? Is it the poor quality? Is it just kind of random if it's, you know, one or one and a half? And then like the common quality is, is one all the time or one and a half all the time? I don't know. It's, it's so accessible. That's one of those things where it's like, who cares? It's just my opinion. Still wiping the sleep out of my eyes this morning. All right, so who's ready for the... Uh, hey, Yanni. Thanks for the resub, man. Welcome back, buddy. Good to see you. Hopefully, uh, you're back home now from Greece, and you are ready to get after some 5.7. I was going to say, who is uh, who is excited about the anybody playing the World of Warcraft expansion? I actually don't even have game time right now. Like That's how excited I am about it. I'm not trying to... Why can't I right-click it in there? Hello? Thank you. I've been so busy, though, lately. It's kind of one of those things where it's like, man, I don't, really don't know if I want to try to take on... Um, what do you mean? I'm at the campfire. Come on, homie. Uh, let's eat some of this. Okay, gives me two. Uh, I played yesterday for the first time. Just got really exhausted after searching for boars for an hour or so. There should be more camps because it feels so deserted. Um, did you did you do it at, at Beachhead or where did you where were you looking for boars at, Finio? I actually got home last night. I was in the airport trying to prat to trying to patch the two to start training. That's funny. <laughs> well, welcome back, man. Glad to uh, glad you're back home and hopefully you enjoyed your trip. 
hopefully uh, you don't have too much of a grind to come back to, but nonetheless, welcome back. All right, last, last animal meet here, guys, and we're going to make our way out. I've kind of had a, a a brief like spell to where after vacation, man, everything just kind of ramped up at work, and so my streams have been during the week have, have been non-existent. Um, actually, last night the reason I didn't stream last night is we had a new parent like orientation dinner at my son's school, and so I didn't get home till like eight thirty. And by the time I would have gotten online, it would have been nine o'clock. I'd have been streaming until midnight, and then I would have had to wake up at six o'clock with him because he's up early uh, to take care of him. So I was like, "Eh, I'll have some time in the morning. I can uh, I can stream and do that." So that's what I decided to do. And so we'll stream till probably you know our normal time on on morning stream, so about ten o'clock, ten a.m. Eastern time, which is about two hours from now. And I'm gonna go take care of some errands. And then the weekend is here, thankfully. Technically, the weekend's already here for me, but for those of you who work Fridays too, the weekend is here after you get in working today. So, wife's heading out to a wedding this weekend. I'm hanging home with the kiddos. God bless you. So, curfall weekend for me. There you go. Nice, man. Finio, um, I don't know if, if you found the boards inside of Beachhead, but uh, there's a lot of stuff to kill out on the main map. So if you've not done that, that's actually where we're heading right now. We're heading to the Rune Gate here, and it's going to allow us to go out to the main map. Obviously, it's just big, it has a purple beam, so if you see the purple beam, just follow it if you're trying to get to a Rune Gate. And uh, it, it, will, it will take you from there. We're gonna go up, we're gonna interact with it, and uh, bam, loading screen. And these should be pretty quick loading times. So if you experience any sort of you know, long loading screens here, it's probably not a good thing. Um, it's definitely a lot longer when you load into the game for the first time. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Yeah, Finio, if you need any help, let me know. I will be more than happy to assist in any way I can. Um, I really don't know what I'm doing out here other than, oh yeah, I'm looking for non, non basic ore. That's what I'm looking for, which, okay, cool. It does have the purple, the purple root or purple marker for us to go back. Good noted. So I need to get, I'm trying to make, um, my intermediate weapon. So what I need to do is get nine non basic ore. Uh, it's gotta be in increments of three though. So I can't like have two of one and seven of another. I gotta have, you know, three and six, or you guys get what I'm saying. I don't need to explain. There's only like six people out here right now. <laughs> Everybody's like chilling in their beachhead, probably trying to craft stuff. Hey, Finio, thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate it. And again, welcome. Thanks for uh, thanks for hanging out this morning. Not enough rage. What level is this guy, man? Goodness. He is not... I thought I did fall already. It's okay. Hey, man. That's why I just remind people, because sometimes they forget. It's not a big deal. Dang. This guy hurts. Rank 7, that's why. Okay, that's what the R is. I didn't realize that. So yeah, I'm killing a rank 7 mob right now. That would make sense why he's doing 250 plus damage. Feels like every swing. Let's loot that. And let's skin this bad boy and see what he's got. I don't know how I missed that. This is probably... Yeah, rank 7. This is going to be a lot of hits on this guy. Definitely need some rune tools. Where's my boy Griven at when I need him? 
Maybe some rune tools. I'm kidding. Nobody's making rune tools yet. I don't even know if that's really worth trying to... Uh, maybe so. It's going to go through a lot of knives. Which, by the way, I don't have a leather worker. I don't have really any crafter yet, I guess you could say, because we're not there yet, but I don't have the plans to make a leather worker, so... If anybody needs a leather, holler at your boy. I'll sell it to you. One thing I do need to do is actually level my vessel up to level 10. I will, uh, I'll do that off stream. Not to bore you guys with that. Not sure what I'm going to make my crafter into. Are you going to go, uh, you're going to go combat and crafting, Bikido? Is that your plan? Oh, he's got a second account now. Uh-oh. Check out that bedhead, guys. How's that look? Does that look good? You guys think about my bedhead. Nice. Not bad, huh? I mean, it could be worse, right? It could be worse bedhead. Okay, so it's finally despawned. <laughs> I got a little bit out of it, so that's really not worth. So let's go try to find some ore now. Um, that's really why I came out here, so I can make my, my weapon and carry on. Well, welcome to the second account club, Keto. Glad to have you, man. There's a lot, a lot, like, what do they call them? Hellcat Slashers? Kind of remind me of like old Bobcats. Those are R3s, so rank 3s. Where's the dang ore? Hey, there's a chest. Do they make it to where the map still shows everything, or do you have a fog of war still? Because in test, they showed the whole map when you press the map button. Let's see. Nope, shows the whole map. It's really sl slow to load, though. Give me that apple. Where's Yum when we need him? Talk about apple tax. So, yeah, you guys can see my FPS right now. Um, that is pretty much prior to this patch was un unthinkable to get that high of FPS. I mean, you can see it's, it's really smooth. So, I stream at uh, 1080p 60 FPS. And so it's uh, you can tell it's it's definitely a lot a lot smoother than what it was before. Uh, you can buy white materials at the forts, can you? That's right. They put the I thought I thought it was just armor though. I honestly hadn't even looked at that. For how much gold though? Because that's what I was. I saw a discussion about that. Well, there's a, a mother node, but where are the little ones? Um. I mean, typically, non-basic ore is pretty easy to come by. Maybe not. I don't know. May have to fall back on that. Not sure I haven't... Okay, here's a Rillium. There we go. So they changed gold. Gold is no longer an ore. It's aurelium now, just for those of you keeping score at home. Um, all right, let's pick this stuff up. It will despawn, so we need nine of this total. We, we should be able to get it from two of these. I'll check out that vendor when I go back though, Yanni. It's a great point. I'd completely forgotten that they added that. Let's see, it's like six, yeah, okay. All right, three more.
So we know what Bakito's doing this weekend. AKA staying home with his kids and playing Crowfall. What's everybody else doing this weekend? Y'all got any cool plans? Hopefully the weather's gonna be nice where you guys are. We've had a lot of rain in the last two weeks. All right, cool. So that's that's plenty now. Where's my Hearthstone? <laughs> Kappa. All right, we've got plenty now. Let's go back. Let's make this metal billet. Let's uh, make our... I mean, technically, I could go to a fort here. Okay, thank you, buddy. Technically, I could go to a fort here on the main map and craft it, but, you know, we're so close. I don't really know if we have control of the forts. Um, it's just better off just to run back for time. And we're also going to check out the... We'll check out the vendors. We'll also check out Hunger Shards. Uh, you guys can notice in the bottom right, we have the the day-night swing timer thing. Also, if you notice, there's a rim around the outside of it that you can kind of see a little bit of green in the bottom left of the circle. That is your season t ticker. So we are currently in spring. Um, it would appear we have 26 days, 23 hours of spring remaining. Uh, that is real time. That's not... That's not in-game time or anything strange. That's just real time. So just some things to note. If you guys have not seen some of the updates. It's kind of strange they don't put you up by the rune gate. I wonder if that was hard to do with coding or something. Or they didn't want it to be congested. Okay. My goal is to, and I've got to find the time for it, uh, is to go in and try to do a video of the 5.7 changes and put that to YouTube to kind of outline everything. The major stuff, anyways. If I have, if, if I can find some time to do it here in the next week or two, I'd like to do that. Um, so if you guys are, are really kind of wondering what's, what's going on with it, uh, I'll try to do something along those lines. All right, so let's go to the statue house. Let's go to the general crafting tables. And let's make this intermediate axe. Hopefully, we'll get some good R and Jesus. It's gonna be hit or miss, but it's okay. It's part of it. So for the first couple of weeks, we're probably all gonna be fighting with intermediate weapons until people get points into crafting trees. I'm hoping. I really need to check so I don't lose track of time and see. How much I'm actually going to, how much time I need to, to get into the blacksmithing tree. Success. All right, guys, here we go. Here's here's where it's at. Your skill zero, difficulty 20. Let's let's just do, what's one pipit? It's just one pipit the whole way. Nice. That's a good one, man. That's, that's real good, in my opinion. As long as we can get a good assembly, I think we'll make a, a decent, a decent axe here. All right, some material dust. Got enough of that. The metal billet, and then the axe. And I can't assemble it. Let's back away from it. I think it's because I took it from the, from there. Oops. All right. Blacksmithing enemy weapons. There we go. Success. Awesome. All right. So we're just going to put it into damage, I think. Failure. Okay. Nah, not so much. The reason I one pipped it is because we have zero skill and it's it was a, a 25 difficulty. So people say, oh, well, you should have done closer to 50%. But in reality, when you're that, when it's that difficult and you don't have any skill, it's better just to one pip it all the way, in my opinion. That's kind of my testing on the crafting. So overall, seven attack power. 
Um, I guess we'll have to see. Let's see, it looks like it's 37 to 66. It's common quality, not poor quality. So that's that's good. Durability's 1400, also good. I don't really know how weapon weight ties into things. That's something that I'm gonna have to explore. Okay, so we are a little bit better equipped now. All right, equipment and gear vendor. Let's check this out. Let's let's actually see how much this stuff cost. Bandages at five gold. You know, I can get behind that. So what does the weapon weight do? I need, I'm gonna have to figure out what is that about combat um, damage? I'm gonna figure out what that's about. Powers. Huh, I don't know. I'll have to look into that more and, and maybe do some testing on the weapon weight or just read about it more and see what it is. All right, so I'm, I'm actually going to buy some of these uh, bandages because it's a lot easier to uh, do that than to spend a bunch of time farming wood. Let's get five of them. Perfect. We've got food in here. A bland but filling. How does mine compare to the non-crafted? I see that mine has durability loss. Does that mean that they're they've added durability loss when you're just fighting? Not terrible, not terrible, but uh, you definitely get more durability when you craft it yourself. Not much, but you do get some gain. All right, so let's go out. Let's explore. Let's see if anybody wants to rumble. Can we duel yet? I'm trying to duel Yanni real quick while he has zero gear and zero skill on his skill tree. He's got a lot of skill personally, but his skill tree doesn't have any. All right, so let's hit the let's hit the main map. Uh, we'll do some hunger, hunger crystal stuff, hunger shard stuff, um, and then yeah, we'll just kind of roam around, and see what's going on, see if we can find anybody. Maybe farm a bit, get some leather. I may I may even dive into the EK stuff this go around too, and just kind of may make my own little store at an EK. Um, I'd like to I'd like to be more on the front end of selling some materials, so I may try to sell some leather and uh, some some chitin, which is another thing that's introduced. Which I saw that in test. I don't know if that's actually in the game yet, so I take that back. Um, I don't know if we can actually farm that yet from mobs. Looks like there's a little outpost. Let's head towards it. Let's see what we can do there. Uh, so yeah, guys. Again, you can see my FPS is pretty good. Um, my settings, I think, are on low, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'll show you guys just so you can see. Yeah, everything's pretty much off. Um, overall quality level, never mind, it's very high. Let's actually go to basic. Let's see how, how much our performance increases when we go to basic. We'll try that out for a little bit. Let's take, uh, let's do shadow quality down as well to see how that helps performance and just kind of give you guys an idea. So before we were about, you know, 75 to, to 90 FPS consistently out here. Now we're, we're upwards over a hundred. So that's actually really nice. Um, yeah, it's, you're not playing it with it's in it's pretty, pretty form. And if you start moving around a lot, obviously your FPS is going to drop, but, uh, overall not too shabby. Hey, find a tree why do i need to find a tree i got a i got a pick in my hand i am gonna need to find a tree though because it just broke i don't have any wood do i no we'll come back to that let's go check out this outpost so yeah pretty good fps when everything's on low 
I didn't realize I had everything on high. So these are these are also a new little feature to five seven are these outposts. It's it's designed for it to be somebody's fighting over here or this little ram is going nuts. What are they doing? They look like they're attacking the outpost or something. That's exactly what it looks like. Oh, they're the are the range guards killing them? Seems a bit strange. Can I loot it? What about can I skin it? Oh, I can loot it. Nice. That's kind of OP. Yeah, don't mind if I get in here and get some free skinning, free free gold from the guards' work and not my own. Chop some wood while we're here. Actually, no, I can't. Oops, wrong button. Five seven is here. Just woke up. Yeah, Sachi, it's here. It uh, dropped yesterday, actually, yesterday afternoon. So it is on the live servers. Get in here and get started, man. Get those get those skill trees going, because you're now down to three skill points per ten instead of ten per ten. All right, I need to make some more tools. Ooh, a golden apple. That was a cool little sound. Did you guys hear that? If you guys don't know what the the seasons do, uh, it actually affects your your buffs or your uh, your your like apple drop rate and like your harvesting your plentiful harvest uh, pips. So just FYI, that's that's what it does. So keep that in mind when you guys are farming. The spring is going to be the best time to farm. I don't know if that's how that's supposed to work. I don't think they're actually supposed to be killing these things. Um, all right, we're gonna make another pick and we're also gonna make another skinning knife as well. Do you know if they added Oceanic servers? I There's n there's no other server than the main server currently. Um, that's not to say they're not going to, but currently it's just one server that they're, they're trying to get everybody into. Um, so at this time, there is no Oceanic server. I'm sure it'll be just like five six where they kind of added a um, oceanic. What would you call it? Uh, I forgot. I forgot what they called the servers, the harvesting servers. Somebody can help me here. Uh, of course, you broke. Actually, didn't see what these guys drop. Strong hide. Okay. The farming server, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. They haven't made like a a regular server for Oceanic. I want you to hit me so I can gain rage, please. Oh, he's bugged. He keeps regenerating. All right, so this is kind of what what they've done with these things. I don't. I think that they've kind of made it to where it's a. It's kind of like a cooking station because, or something. I don't know. There, there's some benefit to having this. I I didn't really figure that out in test, so I'm not really sure. It's just kind of another way to get players to fight over specific areas. Um, I'll check that out, see if I can interact with that little, what looks like some sort of crafting station or a cooking station, but I, I don't, you couldn't in test, so I don't think you can here either. I should have to take a peek and see. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure we can't interact with this. Let's see. Yeah. 
So I think this is gonna be some sort of like cooking station to where you get benefits uh, cooking there versus like just at a regular campfire. So that's a cool new little feature. Again, it's just a little outpost, nothing, nothing fancy, nothing crazy about it. Four guards at the top. And uh, yeah, go from there. All right. Um, I'm going to find a hunger crystal or hunger shard. That's my next objective to show you guys. I showed you guys in, in the, the test, the snap test. I haven't done it on live yet. So basically what happens is a hunger shard is basically represented by like an area of snow it essentially freezes harvestable nodes inside of that radius. You have to kill the hunger shard in order to access the, the nodes or to farm the nodes in that area. So let's go see if we can find one. We'll, we'll stumble upon one eventually. There's some spiveys up there, but that's not a hunger shard. Guys, again, good morning. Welcome in. If you guys are just dropping by for the first time, welcome. My name is Dioko or John, whatever you want to call me. Um, we are exploring the 5.7 that just dropped, uh, the 5.7 patch that just dropped yesterday onto the live server. So we can finally do something and get to keep our material. Keto saying I'm good. I'm not good, man. Don't put a target on my back for no reason. I'm terrible at this game. I'm a noob. All right. Hey, man, might as well farm this stuff while we're out here. You know what I mean? While everybody's sleeping. Hey, there's evil CC. I can't hear him making noise with the node. It's so weird. I can't. <laughs> when you can't see the person's stuff they're picking up, it looks like they're just running around like an idiot. <laughs> That's funny. I haven't seen that before. Oh, hello. That's a lag. Bada bing, bada boom. You know, a lot of ethereal dust, which is good. I'm not used to getting that much this early on. So going back to the hunger shards, you actually need a pick to damage them in order to unfreeze them. Uh, so keep that in mind if you guys run across one and you're like, how do I kill this thing? You actually have to take a pick to it. Um, that's how. So just keep that in mind. Man, this pick is almost trash too. So I'm going to need to uh, get some more wood here in a minute and make another one. Come on, rune tools. They can't get here fast enough. All right, so that should all have been common. Yeah, that was all common grade copper. I 
I'm gonna need some more coffee here in a minute. I guess the hunger hunger shards are only out at night too, by the way, so probably need to keep that in mind. I'm running around looking for them and I don't think it's nighttime yet. I don't think it's nighttime. You don't think it's nighttime either, buddy? Well yeah, that's good. Oh, we just woke up. Yeah, you're right. We did. I'm talking in the video game, silly. Alrighty. Tell you what, guys. Let's go get some more coffee real quick. Um, And uh, I'll be right back momentarily. Alright, one second. All right, how much more damage does a basic weapon do compared to a rare one? Um, by, I mean, if you mean like a rare weapon with rare material, it's gonna be drastically different, but uh, I'm not really sure that's what you mean. I don't know if you mean like that versus a, like an intermediate one or, I mean, it's significantly different because you're gonna have a lot more things that go into um, a rare weapon. So it's a great question, but it's kind of, it depends, um, just based on your roles when you're crafting it. All right, I need to make another axe before this one goes. That's the only bad thing about early on. You're just you're spending a lot of time creating tools, but it's the nature of it. Until you get rune tools. <clears throat> Somebody's gonna be making some money off me early on. Have you played Rin yet? Yes, actually, I've actually I was playing that game uh, this last weekend. That was the game I've been playing in place of Crowfall for the last week or so. Yeah, I mean intermediate, like the worst compared to best. Okay, so like right now, there's some soft hide. Cool. Um, right now, my weapon is 37 to 66. I think the one that I saw in the beachhead was like maximum damage of like 49 or something um so like my max here is 66 versus 49 so that's you know 17 actually i think it was less than, i think it was 39 i think it was like 27 damage difference um but again it just depends on the rolls you get on you know your your crafting components like your billets uh your assembly all that stuff when you start putting the pips into uh, the stats. What are your thoughts on Rand? I tried playing vanilla and the farm is unbearable. Um, I, I don't mind it. It's it's a fun game. I think it's pretty cool. I don't know. I mean, I'm just right now. I've been so consumed at work that. I really just haven't, I don't have the energy to come home and play games, you know, for two or three hours every night like I used to. Um, I guess that's that's probably, that's where I'm at currently. 
I know you guys have probably all been there where it's just like you're just you're just slammed. I don't really need to get that. It's rank two. Um, so yeah, I played it last weekend. I mean, literally the only time I'm gaming lately is when I'm streaming. So you guys can you guys know how how little I've been able to stream in the last couple of weeks. Uh, that's indicative of how busy I've been. But that's that's life, man. It's 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 the time of year where we're super busy at work because it's it's the summertime. Uh, I'm in construction, so you know I'm I'm fortunate enough to have that. But also, it, it does it does affect my gaming time and my streaming time. Uh, more more or less my energy because what I don't want to do is log in, <clears throat> start playing, and just be flat. You know, like not be talkative, uh, not not being able to give a hundred percent to the stream and, and to you guys when we're interacting. Um, because that's what I enjoy the most is, is having an opportunity to chat with people and, um, yeah, and mingle. But yeah, Ren's, Ren's not bad. It's just, I, I was actually a little, what's the word for it? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of surprised they don't have like melee combat weapons. They just have all, it was all like, bows which i mean i guess it's okay and, and some people have expressed why they do that but i don't know to me i feel like it should be more it, sh it should have some some you know melee combat that's just me come on i want your gold oh my gosh this thing's bugged let's try this one more time why did I come all the way back here? <laughs> that's that's so frustrating. Oh well. Oh uh, goodness. <clears throat> all right, we're creeping ever so closely to nighttime which we'll be able to find some hunger crystals oh, keep calling them hunger crystals they're hunger shards I'm getting we're getting closer to that point so we'll try to explore that when we get there i think for now what we're going to do is we're just going to run around and i think i'm just going to farm leather uh leather and ore i think is what i'm going to do yeah that was a bummer apparently the developers are pretty active so hopefully they keep content coming well, good. Yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll keep checking in periodically because, you know, the trend we've seen with Crowfall is just kind of push a big update and then it kind of, the, the player base pulls back over time as the hype from that patch um, slowly fades. So we will, we will be exploring it. Um, you know, the World of Warcraft expansion starts... I think Monday, technically. Um, so we will likely try to explore that. Um, I don't know how I pulled two. I didn't realize they aggroed off of each other. Yes, they do, though. Whatever. Um, so, yeah, we're going to... I don't know. I don't even have game time on it yet, or right now. It ran out, like, early last week. I just haven't renewed it. But... Uh, <clears throat> I'm sure I'll play it. Again, it goes goes back to a time time constraint though. How much time we'll actually have. <clears throat> I need to eat something. my chicken ticker back up here we go yeah so I want to farm leather for uh, for people to buy and then because I'm a, I'm a skinner on this character holy crap that was a, a lag this is the second time that's happened when I'm harvesting It's like this guy wants to aggro to me, but he doesn't. He, like, runs away. So 
So Sachi, you just thought that the uh, the farm was that bad, huh? Like just not even worth playing when it came to Rind. I didn't think it was that bad. Yes, you have to farm, but like most survival games, you do have to, you know. BFA Monday, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, I knew it was that. What's up, Thase? Welcome in. That's for that's for us though, not you guys, right? <laughs> Eleven PM for you. Okay. So they're gonna release it. It's gonna be a worldwide launch. Cool. Yeah, I don't really know if I want to get into it right away. Make sure let them iron out all their bugs. I don't want to get hyped up and then like have a letdown. Two days off work. Well, I hope the servers are stable then. I'd hate for you to take time off work and it'd be a debacle. Two days off work and I'm freaking slammed at work. <laughs> if I took two days off right now, I'd be so far behind when I got back. Actually, I just couldn't. I would miss great bit opportunities. I'm getting some MS spike. That's the thing about my job. It's like even if I take off, like I can't I can't technically take off like when I was on vacation a couple weeks ago it was uh I was working I still had you know jobs I had to to bid uh because they don't change the bid deadline if even if you're you're on vacation it doesn't matter what the heck getting some bugs over here it's gonna be dropping decent money Finio, you know, you were talking yesterday about boars. Or you were talking about how you couldn't find any boars. I mean, you can see I'm finding a lot of good stuff out here on the main map. So don't be afraid to get out. And uh, yesterday was probably going to be tough to solo farm just because there were probably a lot of people on. But, you know, as you can see, I've got plenty of stuff to, to kill and go after here. There's a group of us staying up to level from launch. Y'all have fun with that. I'll enjoy my sleep. Just missed that timing too, dang. I really have not been using my Aegis of Salvation at all. You don't get Realm first by sleeping? This is true. This is true. I'm not really concerned about Realm first and WoW. I feel like too many people with a lot more free time are gonna do that. <laughs> I mean, I'm just being honest here. Like, oh, how times change. Priorities change. And that is okay. There is nothing wrong with that. All right, let's make another pick. I need to make some intermediate weapons. Or uh, intermediate uh, tools. 
Do you need, I, I don't even, like, honestly, I just said that, but I don't even know how you do that. Like, I really don't. I have no idea how you make intermediate weapons. Like, absolutely have no clue. Or intermediate uh, tools. I think I said weapons again. I keep saying that. I never made them before. I just went straight to uh, rune tools. Oh, slash flex in chat, huh, Thaze? Talking about your World of Warcraft feats of strength. Realm first, 85 and 90 on my Shaman IRL. That's awesome, man. I uh, I was a guild first on a 110 back in Warlords of Draenor. What's up, dude? Come at me. Come at me, bro. When, when Draenor came out, I was... <clears throat> I was staying at home. We just had my son. He was my, the first six months. I stayed home with my son, um, worked from home, and I was able to, to game a lot because you know I get done with my work. I couldn't. It's not like I could go out and do anything. So I would. Uh, I just play games because I had to watch him. You know, babies are babies are easy, man. Like you just feed them when they cry, or you know, tend to their needs when they cry, and then uh, after that, they sleep. And when they sleep, you, you know, either sleep or you play games. That's what I did. I enjoy the chase. <clears throat> yeah. A lot of people do. And that's uh, it's part of the competitiveness, competitiveness behind it. I have like a spot that's like really hurting in my nose. I'm not picking my nose. I'm just trying to figure out what it is. I feel like a scab, but it, I don't know. It's weird. All right. Is that a... Yeah, we own that too. It looks like we own everything. At least everything I'm running into we own. Rank 4 ambusher. I like this, man. I can just run up, loot it, and skin it. Then they wake up, you feed them again, and then they sleep more. Yep, pretty much. It was so funny because I remember um, everybody was having issues with logging in. Like I was already at home, so like I was able to log in right away. Um, and when I did so, like I, I stayed logged in because you, if you logged out, like you were done. Like you just couldn't... Uh, you couldn't get back in the game. So I I was like one of my one of the only people in my guild that could get in the game for several hours, like probably four or five hours. And uh I had such a head start with everybody else. Yeah, that's right. I hit that thing once and it died. Oops. All right. This is, uh, I'm hoping that people are going to have a need for all this leather I'm farming. They want to buy it from me. Some soft hide, durable hide, strong hide. 
I can't honestly like I can't tell with okay here we go here's a hung, hunger shard thank the lord all right so we see how we've got that stone is inside of it and this tree's inside of it we can't actually farm those until we kill the hunger crystal so we're gonna kill the hunger crystal so I've kind of been using hunger crystal and hunger shard interchangeably so a hunger crystal is the actual is what we're hitting right now. Hunger shards are what the hunger crystal drops. You can see here that they just dropped a bunch of them. So like I'm picking these up. Those are hunger shards. So just kind of some uh, lingo to help you guys stay straight. I know I've, I've kind of been using that interchangeably and my apologies, but uh, we'll correct it nonetheless. And there we go. Boom. Now the snow is going to disappear. And it's going to make those farmable, so you will see the little um, go up to it. And if we wanted to start hacking on it, I'm not really that concerned about it. So we got these right here, though. And they actually, these are used in crafting. Um, so you can see here, this hunger shard is going to add 20 attack power. It's a weapon, weapon crafting additive. Um, Sacrifice shard, just something you're going to sacrifice. It has no no value whatsoever. So that's the beauty of hunger shards. That's what is being implemented with hunger shards. So uh, just be aware that's kind of how they work. Uh, again, they unlock the ability to harvest resources inside of them after you kill them. Um, so yeah, that's it. How are our tools? Our tools are looking decent. I do. I think I need. Do I need the? I think I need the intermediate crafting station to. Uh, I don't know what I need though to craft them. For intermediate tools. Ooh, rank four. <clears throat> this is definitely gonna drop all common, but it's gonna wear out my my pick here I may actually kill it it's gonna be close got it just barely so well let's make another one um how are we doing on wood we're okay we're gonna go back here in just a second and i'm gonna look and see what i need to make intermediate tools because i'd like for these to last a little longer if i know what i need come back out and farm it <clears throat> i probably need non-basic resources so i probably need like ash wood and I may, I may try to gather some of that just to kind of preemptively get... Because like I said, I've never actually made intermediate tools. I've just kind of went with rune, rune make, And I may not even be able to craft it. It may not be something you can craft unless you have uh, a, a rune making station or whatever. A little bit of lag there. Again, guys, welcome and good morning, good afternoon. Hopefully everybody is doing just dandy today. Um, if you're new, be sure to uh, say hey in chat. We'd love an opportunity to say hey to you. Uh, also, if you want to support the stream by following, feel free to do so. If you have other means to support, uh, I'll leave that up to you. Not going to beg you for it, but uh, just know that that's there. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for hanging out. We're uh, just kind of exploring the Crowfall 5.7 patch that just dropped on live yesterday. So that's why we're doing a lot of farming is because we can actually keep this stuff now. So we're not uh, we're not getting wiped for a while at this point. I'm sure we'll, we'll get another wipe eventually, but we're gonna need this stuff 
at some point to do some crafting. Uh, and thus, that's why we are farming. <clears throat> Felt like they were coming at me there for a second. Old ash wood. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, let's finish this off. Let's recall back. Let's see what we can get. Um, if we can even do intermediate tools, I don't even know. It's just a good time to probably bank because we've got a decent amount of some stuff right now. Let's see. Did they take away? No, they didn't take away recall. They just took it off of E, which makes sense. I was about to say, did it, did it, like it stopped a little bar. I was wondering there for a second if we were actually going to get recalled back. I wonder if they've actually made it to where the, <clears throat> um, no, they haven't. I was going to say where the timer's legit, but they haven't. Okay. Let's uh, let's do this. Let's bank some of the stuff that I don't need on me. Um, gold is a good one. Put these hunger shards up. They'll be nice to have down the road. I'll probably go sacrifice these real fast. I googled it. All you need the workstation. What a pal. What a pal face. <clears throat> I think these. No, I can use tough hide. Soft hide. I don't think is really implemented in any way. I'm not sure on strong hide yet. Uh, tough, flexible, durable. I've got I've got a little bit of each now. I think I'll do some wood mainly. It seems okay. Cool. Uh, it's probably accurate, and that's what I thought. I just wasn't 100 percent sure. See, that iron ore looks so cool now. They haven't changed copper. The copper uh, tool tool tip image is still the same um aurelium will leave that in here as well let's see here, get these sacrifice items ready my gold apples will leave sacrifice that spider meat we can turn into some food we'll keep the u wood on me for uh crafting purposes here <clears throat> put the chaos embers in there i don't need those either okay I think we're good. I've got a lot of meat, but that's really not a big deal. Um, I can make that in my my spare time. I need to actually increase my mouse sensitivity. It seems a little low. Yeah, they reset it. That's why. Yeah, much better. Okay. I don't feel like I'm getting carpal tunnel and I have to move now. All right, so let's uh, we'll sack all this stuff. I actually don't need to sacrifice that. I can keep that. All right. <clears throat> I'll have to do a a farming run for arrows eventually. Too bad they don't have server first in this or world first because I'd probably, I'm telling you, I'm going to be the first one into the blacksmithing tree. I ain't kidding. I've got my, my plan. I'm ready. All right, let's listen to some music. I think we have uh, shown the immersion that they have implemented with the music in the game, so that's good. Let's turn it up a little bit. There we go. Should be a little better. All right, let's check out these tools. See what we can get here. Um, rune making. Here we go. There we go. This is what we need. Or unmarked wooden rune stone. Okay. 
I may need to go get that copper back. Actually, I could just go mine a bunch of slag. That's probably what we'll do. Okay, so. Let's go farm enough for this stuff real quick. Let's just farm up a bunch of slag and wood. I don't have to use any of my non-basic stuff, so I'll keep it. Oops. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really like this song. Skip it. I have that power. So let's farm with a bunch of wood, a bunch of slag, and uh, call it a day. I'm just gonna use this axe until it breaks and then we'll move on to uh, slag. It's maybe the last hit right here. Nope. Yeah, let's hit a tree with a pick, John. You real smart guy. That was dumb. Let's see, how much wood do I have? <clears throat> I think I need three per, I need, okay, I need three ore per three wood. So we've got enough for four. So let's get, let's just get 12 ore here. And that should make it to where we can make, really I need skinning knives, picks, and an axe. I'll probably make two two skinning knives because that's really what we're most concerned about right now. Uh, actually, probably two picks. I don't know. It doesn't matter. We'll just make some stuff. We'll go from there. We'll get back out and keep doing it. And one more slag and we'll be set. Guys, we're gonna go probably another, I don't know, hour, hour or so. So again, if you guys have missed the beginning part of the stream, no worries. It'll be up on uh, either my, my videos page, which it will be, uh, and it'll be up on YouTube later. If you guys uh, can't access Twitch, maybe from work or something, uh, and you want to watch it at work later, um, you'll have access to it on YouTube. So. I will put that up as soon as it ends. It will probably take a little bit for it to upload. Um, but after it does that, I'll, I'll usually complete it in the afternoon, uh, the day I stream, to give it a couple hours to, ooh, I can actually do this, cool. We'll just do one pip, because it's 20 difficult to, difficulty and we have zero skill. Cool. All right, so we'll probably put that on, I would imagine a pick because it's a little it's gonna be a little higher durability same with this one nice that was actually a really good one so that's good and we've got one more we can make all right last one and again, we'll just continue to one pip it because of the the difficulty here and the skill uh, it's just better off to just do one pip in my opinion. Um, that's all kind of your own opinion. Some people will argue with you, but don't let them do it. Just say, hey man, this is what I think and move on. All right, so that one has the highest durability it would appear. We have two at 21 and then one at 20. So uh, we'll use the highest one for a pick, I believe. It's gonna make the most sense. Use the ore, ethereal dust. 
That's gonna give us mining plus 10. And again, same thing. I'm just gonna do one pip here because of the skill and difficulty differential. It's 109 durability versus a basic one of 65. So we're almost getting double durability out of the intermediate items, which is it's pretty good. All right, let's make um, let's do an axe next. I'm gonna have a high quality axe as well. Again, one at a time. Also pretty good there. So 108 durability out of this one. So 108, 109 so far. Pretty good. I wish it kept the highlight when it was on the paper doll. That would be nice if it did that. All right, and then let's do, I don't really need a hammer because I'm not, I'm not making any stone or not getting any stone. So I'm gonna go probably two knives since we're gonna focus more on skinning while we're out there um, for the next hour. We're gonna focus on really, I guess, I guess probably skinning and, and mining uh, are the two, even though this isn't really, this guy's not a an ore gatherer, um, but okay, one to six on this. So that was a twenty. The axe was twenty-one durability, and the knife that I just made was a twenty-one durability. Let's see what twenty durability does. Uh, and what I mean by that is when you hover over it, the unmarked wooden runestone has twenty on the durability. Let's see what that does again when we make another knife. Let's see if it alters it in any way. Uh, so it's, ba it's a base of 95. And this one's the highest one. Go figure. Holy crap. Edwin has nine accounts. That's some dedication right there, man. That's Shraether, by the way. If you guys don't know Shraether, he owns an EK that... Did that make three knives? No. Okay, I was about to say. So the same. Okay, let's go out. Let's keep farming. Nine copies of the game at 50 bucks a pop. That's that's an investment right there. That is that is a true love for the game you're playing. He is like single-handedly paying for one per no I'm kidding. I was gonna say one person's salary, but guys again, welcome in. Good morning. Good afternoon. If you're in Europe or if you're from the around the land down under in the oceanic area, good evening. We are uh, starting the process of a new, of a new, uh, a fresh wipe, which means we're farming. We are exploring. We are learning, as always, and uh, we're just having a good time this morning. So, thanks for hanging out, boss. Jaw has like fourteen two. What is it with the dedicated crafters, man? That's nuts. How are you, boss? Good to see you, man. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not there. I'm. I'm just. I don't know. I feel like my wife would probably think that there's something wrong with me if I did that. She already thinks there's enough wrong with me, but I feel like if I had, you know, 9 to 14 crowfall accounts, she'd be like, we need to talk. You, you need to sit down, and we need to have a discussion. They're going to wipe everything so don't go at it too hard this morning? Uh, I mean, are they, or are they going to allow us to spirit bank it? All right, let's go. Uh, let's go find some more leather. The spirit bank is where the issue is at. Okay. So 
So what's wrong with the Spirit Bank? They said I haven't I haven't really been keeping up with uh, some of the issues. Let's get some of the silver or tin rather. Why do I need to find a tree to harvest? I've got a pick in my hand, guys. It does a lot more damage too, which is nice. Uh, let me find a reference. Okay, cool. I just haven't seen that they were going to wipe Spirit Banks. Was it not discovered on the snap test? Prior to it going on live? Or was this a bug when they transferred it over? They're talking about price per entertainment or price per hour of entertainment you get out of computer games being a great deal. I said, yeah, over 3K hours of Counter Strike. Paid $15 for it. What is that per hour, actually? I'm, I'm curious now. Uh, calculator. So, price per hour. Um, that's half a penny an hour. Point zero zero five per hour is the the price. Could you imagine being paid that? Oh, so what's your what's your uh, what's your hourly rate? I'm a uh, half a penny an hour. Could you imagine? Can we do like a, a hard reset on the economy and the world and just, you know, change it to how much people make an hour? <laughs> Can we completely undo all inflation? Is that possible? That would only be possible in one way if all of our currency was digital. You know? But uh, we've got Bitcoin. Is that is that what we're going to? Is that what the world's going to go to? Because, I mean, something has to back the currency, right? Like gold or, shoot, in today's terms, oil. I like I said, I'm going to skin and I end up doing more mining than anything else. What was that movie? I think it had Justin Timberlake in it. It was, uh, the currency was like time for your life. So like you work to extend like your life. What was that movie called? Do I know? I never remember. It's been a long time since so I watched that. That was like college. Let's see. Let's put the axe over here. I'm just literally running around, just chopping stuff and killing stuff. Although boss has got me nervous now. I didn't. I didn't realize they were gonna wipe spirit banks too. In time, is that what it was called? All right, I'll check that in just a second, Bosk. I have to run out of stamina. All right, let's see. Look at the comment from the dev. All right, where is the... So, Ed, something is wrong with your rewards. Current 5.7. Can I start yeah, that is wrong. We found where the problem is. We'll probably have to do another bank EK campaign wipe to fix it. Stay tuned for more info. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, but that's that's on purchased items. I mean, if, if they wipe it for, like, purchase items, that's stupid. But I guess if it's... I mean, you got to underline probably, so I don't really... I'm not going to put a whole lot of stock into that. If it happens, it happens. I mean, we're in a testing phase. You can't get pissed off of that. But... I feel like there's a workaround rather than to completely wipe it and start fresh again. I mean, obviously, it wouldn't be skill trees. So that's, that's the most important thing. Rank six birch. Yeah, we're just gonna just we're gonna hang out and just talk, chat, farm. Uh, this is uh, farming simulator five thousand. Welcome in. Um, I'll be your guide. Make sure you notice on your way that uh, we're gonna be uh, acquiring different items as we as we farm. So if you look to your left, uh, you're gonna notice an ash tree. We're currently hitting a birch tree. If you look off into the, the distance there, you can see an elk and even a spider. We'll go check those out next. All right, let's actually go kill those. Rank six ash, that would take forever. Kind of like that birch tree just did. This is probably, okay, I was thinking everything around here is rank six. I haven't even looked at any of the forts on this map yet. Mainly because I don't want to pull up the map. It takes so long to load. It's the one thing they've got to work on uh, optimization for, I think, next, is is how quickly and that map loads. It's, it's incredibly painstaking to open that up. All right, let's put this here. Guys, again, if you are new here, um, check out some of the links below, like the uh, the social medias, Twitter, YouTube, all that stuff. Um, that's going to be where a lot of our, our content is going to be put, and you're going to be updated on like stream schedule and stuff for the most part. Um, today's kind of a unscheduled stream because uh, we were going to stream last night, which was also not really scheduled. I, I cleared that out earlier in the week, but uh, we should be back tomorrow morning, and... Uh, then again, Sunday morning as well. Hopefully, if, if there is going to be a wipe, it will take place today on the Spirit Bank, so we're not spending days uh, farming, only to have to turn around and redo it again. Um, so yeah, that's uh, something you guys can keep in mind that we'll probably start streaming tomorrow morning about 7.30 a.m. Eastern, which is approximately two hours before now. So if you kind of look at your clock, subtract two hours around that time. Sometimes we're early. Uh, sometimes we are, we start around seven, just depending on what time we get out of bed, we get the coffee pot started and all that stuff. All right, let's see if I can loot this guy. Cause the last one of these I killed granted it was around a tower and kind of glitched. There we go. Let's actually, let's check the map real quick. I want to see where we're at in relation to where we want to go. Looks like there's a fort just over to the east. <coughs> let's do that. Let's go check out that fort. I'm curious to see. I'm sure we have control over it. I see a building right there. Hmm, 
Not much has been built on it yet. I wonder if there's any of the ace guys on this morning. Let's see. Doesn't appear to be. Yeah, we do own this. Let's run in here real quick. I want to check some stuff. I've honestly ne never gotten into some of these houses. Oh, that's the alchemy table. What else do we have? Do we have all the tables in here, or is it just... You get the four main ones in the center. But these, these buildings have some of the smaller stuff. Or the... There's another blacksmith table. Why do they have two blacksmith tables? That doesn't make sense. That's kind of cool. Is that new? I've never seen that before. Resources vendor. Hmm. So they're putting a value on it. That was a good stretch. All right, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna have some B for a second on this, and something I'm seeing. Here's what I don't like about what I'm seeing right here. Okay, don't give them a break for buying twenty. Make it straight five a piece. Because here's why. You're hurting the player driven economy make it five because oh snap crowfall just crashed apparently it didn't like me bashing it rip uh <laughs> oops actually i didn't do anything it was just it just crashed um so what i don't like about that is you're not allowing the player based economy to create the breaks instead you're creating the break and we can't profit off of selling in bulk because you've cut 10 gold off per per piece. Let, let the break come from buying, you know, from another player. Um, you know, now if, if you can't find a player that has it, then sure, I can see that. But that's just my opinion. I'm going to go get a little more coffee uh, real quick while we're taking a break. And then uh, I'll be right back. We can discuss that more if you guys want to hash that open and, and discuss the uh, the whole break and buying bulk. You're back. All right, sorry about that. Need to get that coffee. This is also a bad song. Let's skip that one too. Okay. 
Hey, Heath M two underscore O. Welcome to Dioko TV. Hope you enjoy your stay. All right, let's uh, let's get back in the game. So my my point on that is, you're not really helping the player to player economy because, granted, you know, yeah, if you buy more bulk, obviously it's going to benefit you from buying from a player, but. Why does my father-in-law call me? Let me take this real quick, guys. Give me one second. All right, sorry about that. He needs my truck to tote stuff around. All right, but anyways, I'm not going to harp on this anymore. It's just a matter of let the players create the breaks. Uh, I guess that's a way to incentivize buying in bulk from players and players kind of adding um, a little bit of a break in the bulk, but I don't know. Just a thought, anyways. Uh, I think it's great they have that now because I think it's going to um, get players to want to buy from other players. Like, that's exactly what I plan to do with my skinning. Um, is I plan to just sell everything I've got. Alright. I'd say what we're going to do. Let's put some stuff in here. Uh, just to kind of help hold some stuff. Um... Okay. Oh, dang, I didn't know this campaign was supposed to end today. 6 p.m. BST for the EU one. I don't even want B. What is BST? Blue screen, Tom? Kidding. All right. Uh... Aha. There's some wolves over there. Let's go kill some wolves. This is another new mob that they've added. What are their technical names? Gray wolf. Are they all gray wolves? Yeah, I, guess I knew they were multiple. Shadow wolf, white wolf. We're going to aggro a bunch of them and just piss them off. That's fine. Holy crap. Are they protecting something? It's like, like a den or what? Let's see how many we get here. Those are rank 8. Uh, Dude, I'm going to get destroyed. I do not want to fight those. I just pissed them off and ran away. <laughs> funny that is funny that kind of actually looks like a wolf out in the distance you guys see that rock out there kind of looks like a wolf face like a wolf howling right there you guys see that is that just me or am I am I crazy? It's kind of what I see. All right, let's go try to skin a little bit more before we get off. We've got uh, about 20 minutes, 28 minutes or so uh, before we call it a day. 
What rank is this? It's a rank three. Perfect. I think it's some common stuff. I don't think we're to the point now where we can... I don't think we can get really rare or uncommon yet. I guess we could, technically. Just have to kill the right mobs. First things first, I am going to make myself a good weapon whenever I get my blacksmith up to par. Just saw somebody in chat say it's going to be about a week. Can you imagine though, like we were talking earlier about some guys that have upwards of 9, 10 accounts. Could you imagine... Like, if you're trying to be spot on with your, your time and your skill points, like setting timers across that many accounts to get things done, like, I, I couldn't. I just I just could not. That would be so overwhelming. Now, let me, let me say this. If I, if I streamed full-time and played games full-time, and, like, I was a full-time Crowfall streamer, yeah. Yeah, I could do it, and I would do it, but... I'm not. I'm not either one of those. I don't I don't play games full time and stream full time and I don't play Crowfall full time. That's just nuts, man. I love the game. I do. It's just there's a there's a, a fine line between loving a game and, and being insane. <laughs> just to be just to be honest. All right. I feel like the stamina region is a little greater. By the way, it's a good idea to, even if you don't have like high crafting skill, it's a good idea to be kind of preserving those hunger shards that you get from the hunger crystals because it's going to allow you to add your uh, modifiers to to like weapons and stuff down the road. So be sure you guys are uh, keeping that in mind. When you're out farming, if you see a hunger crystal, I would definitely be trying to hit that. Uh, I mean, I don't have any sort of excavation yet on this character. And I got a lot of green, uncommon, um, whatchamacallit, hunger shards. So just keep that in mind. Be sure to, uh, to to try to take those down whenever you can. Like right now, it's nighttime. I should probably be looking for another one to uh, to take down. And we may do that after we kill this one. These are guys running the equivalent of servers for computers. They ain't switching accounts so much as having them up on all. Yeah, that's it's true. I just meant in terms of like having to keep up with the time. Like for example, like if you want to be spot on with like getting the highest head start, you need to be setting timers. So like when you need to get back on and train points and switch switch trees, you know, move to the next tier in the, the tree that you're working, whether it's, you know, crafting or whatever. Like that's what I'm talking about. Uh, now some people may not be that like critical. Um, but yeah, that's nuts. All right, let's go. Let's go see if we can find a hunger crystal real quick. Uh, I think comfortably two, you can play this game and, and do everything you need to do comfortably with two accounts. Shoot, sometimes I feel like that's that's a, a juggle. I can't imagine trying to lay out, you know, a plan for 
five, six, seven accounts. Not to ma mention, you know, like what you said, boss, it would make sense if they did that and they were just like switching between. But uh, if you were actually having to type in like two-factor authentication and every time you, you got into another account, that would be rough. Mm -hmm. Dude, these animals are just getting peppered from those tower guards. Shoot, I'll take advantage of it on a rank 7 slasher. may kill my knife, but oh well. The new skinning meta, let the guards take the durability hit? <laughs> Absolutely. Just stay around towers. And maybe that's maybe that's a benefit to getting the towers. Maybe that's what they... Maybe it's working as intended. It's a little strange, but uh, maybe that's the way they want it to work. I don't know. Would definitely eliminate the need to have combat skills. Or armor, for that matter. Or even weapons. <laughs> no greens from this one. There we go. Just like that, two of them drop. A rank eight. Gimme, gimme. We obviously abandoned the whole looking for hunger crystals, but that's okay, because we're going to have great opportunity to farm leather here. Is this one bugs? No, oh, okay. Kind of is, but it kind of isn't either. Jeez, rank A is so tough. And this is with an intermediate skinning knife, too. Yeah, I probably really shouldn't. I shouldn't go much above uh, ranks, rank 6, really, but I could do a rank 7. Let's go check this out. Rank 3. I like how they put R3 in the names to kind of help us establish what rank they are because you you didn't know until after you killed them before it's kind of i think it's kind of clunky how they've got it right now but i think it's it's a work in progress as far as you know putting levels beside them i think they could probably just put a like a number at the front of their name and maybe like put a a triangle or something around it to kind of but again, they'll figure that out. I don't need to tell them how to do their job. I've been impressed with some of the graphical changes, though. I like the whole night and day thing, which, you know, it, it appears that that's just more of a shaders thing from what I understand uh, their explanation of it in one of the Q&As. Um, but it's really cool. I think I'm only get one hidden with this. Nope, I'll get two. Maybe three. I knew that was coming. Dude, there's a bunch of rank sevens that hang out around here, apparently. So, boss, do you know what time... Which, how am I getting... I'm still getting energy. Is it because I'm inside of this thing? Resting. Aha! I was wondering how I kept getting, like, regeneration and stamina. That's actually kind of nuts. 
Interesting. So just freaking pull them inside of this, and then uh, what does resting give you? I wonder. Other than just like a stamina regeneration. Um. Well, I was gonna say, boss. Do you know when this the campaign's supposed to go down? I saw somebody say like today. Like 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Central. Yeah. Yeah, it's not good. For sure. I, I mean, I'm going to try to just put things in the spirit bank and then hope for the best. But it's all right, man. I'm, I'm not going to be concerned about it either way. It is what it is at this point. Lame. Couldn't get that crit. I can't get those, man. I need to be on the other side of it, but I can't because this wood, I think. Let me get this uh, stuff before it despawns. I'm hungry again. Jeez. Require too much food, champion. Nope, still can't get it. Rip. I need coffee for spelling, evidently. That's alright, man. Go get you some coffee. That's what I've been sipping on all morning. There's another one down. Keep it up, guards. Y'all are doing great. There's a rank eight. Rest in peace, skinning knife. So one thing I want to see, and I've mentioned a couple times already today, I'd like to see a button that allows us to pop up our, our cursor. Uh, to hover over certain things. Um, I know, like, for example, Rend has Rend is alt. I made that suggestion a while back on the forums. But I think it would be nice to, like, be able to hover over some of the buffs up, up in the top right and just kind of see what they do. Um, instead of, like, either having to guess or, like, try to find, figure out in a weird way. Um, because they obviously disappear when you open your backpack. So, if any of the devs are listening, that would be really cool. I'm about to destroy this knife, so. I think we'll recall. I think I'll probably end up spirit banking some stuff and just hoping for the best. Uh, because I'm kind of like you, boss. I don't, uh, I don't want to invest a whole lot of time only for it to be for not down the road so let's recall back this this knife's almost dead and let's go from there um and i may just uh like i said spirit bank it and go from there some of the some of the stuff i really don't need to spirit bank but some of the good stuff i'll spirit bank bum, 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 bum. Ba -da 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 -da. Bum, 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 bum. Mm -hmm. I wish they would auto stack. They don't. Oh, I'll put some of this stuff in my other bank so we'll switch that over let's go and get that real quick we'll add all the one we'll throw it in the spirit bank and then hope that they don't wipe spirit banks that's a that's a big hope though
Okay. I'm going to pull all this stuff out in bulk and then just throw it in the spirit bank. Um... And I'll keep my armor too, since it's all intermediate at this point. Um, that's literally zero durability. Okay, I'm not really worried about the tools. Uh, let's try to make this as easy as possible on what to take. All right, we're just gonna click all this stuff and try to put it in our spear bank. So hopefully we won't get wiped, but if we do, it is what it is. All right, we're just gonna start here and just start clicking stuff in. Ooh, this is quicker now, nice. That was so agonizing before, trying to put stuff in your spirit bank. All right, okay, we're gonna leave that. And I think that's going to be it for me, guys. I think I'm going to, uh, actually, I'll organize this real quick. We'll talk. If anybody wants to discuss anything further uh, before we get off, we've got just a couple minutes. We can do so. Um, try to make this somewhat organized. Um, put all the wood in the center for now. It's going to be hard to keep track of the hunger crystals because they don't, nothing stacks automatically when you enter it into the spirit bank. So that's going to be something we're going to have to keep an eye on. All right, we'll keep our armor and stuff in the center too. And again, we're hoping that there's not going to be a white, but sounds like they're, they're, could potentially be one, uh, which, you know, again, new patches rolling out. Sometimes that stuff is, is go going to happen. It's out of our control and, uh, we just have to understand that, but, uh, all right. All right, guys, that is going to be it for me. Um, it's going to wind up the stream. We will be back tomorrow morning uh, between 7 and 7.30 a.m. Eastern Time, which is about three hours or two hours before now, um, if you're looking down at your clock. But uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Um, hopefully, we won't get wiped, but if we do, we'll be back kind of doing some similar stuff tomorrow, probably get a little bit more into depth. Uh, I'll make a list of, of some things that we can discuss and talk about regarding 5.7 and some of the changes, uh, and maybe try to get more in depth about some of those things. So... Anyways, guys, enjoy your Friday. Have a great weekend if I don't see you tomorrow or Sunday. And uh, in the meantime, take care. Have a good one.